There are two types of malnutrition. One malnutrition is just all skin and bones. And the babies have red hair, but they're just all skin and bones, and you can count every rib. That comes from not eating hardly any food. But his type of malnutrition is far more serious. He's got all this fluid retention in his body, and I think he's also got another problem in his back. We don't know. He could even have tuberculosis. We don't know. But he has Quashacor, and Quashacor is far more serious than Erasmus. Far more serious. They're as real as they are on TV. That's them. I mean, they, they are real. It's, it's almost surreal to me because I, I watch it on TV, I follow it on Facebook, I get online and watch the episodes, and it's exactly like it is. I mean, it, 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 it's the real thing. Well, we left Bon Paris in early this morning. We've been traveling, what, Sherry, four hours now. We've probably got two or three hours more to go through deep mountains. No, really no road, just paths. And it gets worse from here. And it gets way worse from here. But we're on the way to saint bon pete where we're going to build a brand new church and a brand new school. God just gave us a sponsor. Plus, a few minutes away, we're building a church and school in Griffin, yes. Haiti, in the middle of nowhere, where nobody hardly ever goes but we're gonna have a medical clinic, a mobile clinic for the next two days, plus services at night, because love is something that you do. And we're gonna feed the people. And we're gonna feed the people, yeah. and we're going into the regions beyond the gospel of Jesus Christ and the love of God. Well, come on, we have the volunteer team with us from America. You'll meet them all on the program today, all the Haitian staff and all the great Haitian workers. We have 32 people with us. 32 people. And Bobby, I just want to add that this is no easy to trip because, oh, you can oh, no. see the lake in back of us. That's, That's where, where we, we came started from, out. The from. lake way Let's back go there. go all the way down by the ocean, down by Port-au-Prince, circle all the way up around the city, come up through Kinscoff Mountain. Back in to the oh. inland. Oh, long ways. It's been hard a trip. long ways, and we got a long ways to go. So we're going to stay in camping tents, maybe. We brought tents. Unless we can find a little uh, school room out there that, that hasn't been leave. demolished by the earthquake that bad. So, well, let's go. Come on with us. Let's go on a trip of faith, a trip of love.
It's this little boy Jackson who just took right to Madame Sherry. He just uh, was loved by her and, and he has followed her along. You know, he, he just wanted to live with her right away. At a seven year old, he just knew that she could help him. His belly was just, he looked pregnant, like a little boy pregnant. That's exactly what he looked like, and he's just miserable. He was sitting on the ground, and um, I helped him up, and he was grunting because it was hurting him so bad. Madam Sherry told me that if we wouldn't get him some help, he would die. He would not make it. Bobby, what did you think when you first saw Jackson? Sherry, when we got here yesterday, and look, this little boy Jackson is, and it's, oh my, you know, I hear this is the slow starvation. Uh, I just, it, it still just grips my heart out. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. I, I can't say more. It, it is unbelievable. And Sherry, it's called, what's it called? Quashicor, right, Sherry? Quashicor. It's a slow starvation. He can see, it's and not he doesn't fair. have any hair. It's not fair for a child to suffer like this. Mm. And he's hungry. He's always hungry, always wants to eat, but his stomach is so distended. So in Quashicor, children retain a lot of fluid. It comes from mostly not eating the right kind of food. He is eating food. But let's say he's eating um, flour with water or just cornmeal, those types of things. And not any protein. So as a result, his feet are swelling, his eyes are swelling, his face is swelling, he has a big belly, and it's gonna take a long time for this belly to go down. But he is in total, total misery, agonizing misery. He, he's just as big around as if he was pregnant. He's just, a, he's just a child and his stomach is so big and his little legs and everything is small. Compy, compy baby. Look at that big belly. Just look at that big belly. Well, sure, I'll tell you one thing. I just want to thank everybody who sponsored this clinic and yes. helped financially. You have saved another life. I can tell you that much. You have saved another life. We're gonna take him down to the mountains. He'll, he'll go to our clinic first and he'll be referred to the baby hospital and he'll probably be in the hospital for a long time, a long time. Then after that, he'll come and stay with us and then we'll see if he's well enough to come home or what the condition will be. And his eyes are really swollen, but he is just in total misery. His mom is poor, has one baby, three other children. There's no gardens that are growing here. It's dry. They can't grow anything. They can't feed their children. And this is another reason why we have feeding programs all throughout Haiti. So please, if if you've ever done anything to sponsor a clinic or help with the clinic or help with the feeding program, whatever the Lord lays upon your heart, please do it. Everything is so important when it comes to children. And we are love a child. And we love children. There are multitudes of malnourished babies and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, sanitary conditions, and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these people who have nothing and are giving them hope. Hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have health. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished people who have never seen a doctor or receive medical care. We need your help now. $52 furnishes the medicine and vitamins needed to deworm and treat 300 children. $20 provides a family a complete package of medicine. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Will you hear the cry of the poor and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $52 furnishes the medicine and vitamins needed to deworm and treat 300 children. $20 provides a family a complete package of medicine. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. 
please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting people of Haiti. God bless you. I just want to give you a word from the mission field here today, way out in Sauvon, Pete, Haiti, which this location is in the middle of nowhere, several hours deep in the mountains of Haiti. And came out here to have a mobile clinic. And we're gonna build a new, a new school out here and a new church out here. God bless. David George and his sponsors were building also 20 minutes away a new school and church in Griffin, Haiti, in the middle of nowhere in the interior. You know, 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, talks about, that's a love chapter. And we always say, you know, God gave us this thought, faith is not something you just talk about, the faith is something that you do. Love is not something you just talk about, but love is something that you do. And, and so we're always saying that, love is something you do. And a while ago, just we had a little boy come through the clinic. As a matter of fact, he's refusing to go home uh, because he, he, he wants to go back to Port-au-Prince with his food, to get medical care. He's in such misery as Quashicor. He's dying a slow death of hunger. Uh, and when we got here yesterday, it, 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 it was unbelievable. He tore my heart out. You know, Sharon and I, we have lived here in Haiti now lived here for 23 years. One day I just got not angry at God, but I, I just began to wonder, I, I thought, if I was God, I wouldn't let anybody go hungry. If I was God, I would never let like a little boy like Jackson die of a slow death of hunger, suffering, he's crying because he's suffering a slow death of Washington of starvation and all the misery upon this earth, especially the children suffering. I, I, I said, I, I even told God, I said, God, if I was you, I, I wouldn't let these things happen. And you're God. You, you, you could do anything. And the Spirit of God came on me so heavy. And the Lord spoke to my heart and said, Bobby, my people, and you, you are my hands, you are my feet, you are my mouthpiece. I use you, I use people. If everyone would do what they're supposed to do, no one would be hungry, no one would suffer. This earth would be a lot different. But let us be today. Let you be God's hands, be God's feet, be God's mouthpiece to show the love of God. That's what Sharon and I try to do here in Haiti, trying to show the love of God because God moves through us. And this clinic shows the love of God. And the result is that through the goodness of God, people, they see the goodness of God, the Bible says in Romans, and it brings them to repentance because of the goodness of God. So this clinic is the love of God. For those of you who sponsored this clinic, thank you. God bless you. Love is something that you do. God bless you. We've cleaned his head really good and got all the scabs off. It's uh, messy and nasty, but we're going to put some antibiotic cream on and stuff right now. And 
pray for him and hope that he does better because he's really got a bad, bad, bad head infection. You know, I'm not a do doctor, I am not a nurse. We're just doing the things that we know, but we've been working in Haiti a long time and we know that Jesus is a great physician, isn't he? He could do anything. Thank you for helping. We live our lives and, and we think that that's how the whole world is, you know, when we live in the United States. But you come to a country like this and you just, and you realize how many people just don't have anything. And to come here and to be able to use your knowledge and your skills to help them, there's nothing better than that. There's nothing better than that. I'm 20 years old, I live in Texas, and Love a Child has completely changed my perspective of this world, what I have, the kids here, the people, and to come here for one week and help the poor is, it's amazing. Anyone out there should have the privilege to come do this and experience what I'm experiencing now. It's, it's life changing and you will thank the Lord for letting you do such a thing. He wants to go home with us today. He said he wants, he, he just told us he wants to get out of this misery. So. We're having a clinic today, and I can't watch him today. His mom needs to watch him. So he's crying because he wants to go home with us because he said he'll be out of his misery if he goes home with us. Isn't this the saddest thing? <laughs> I've got a thousand people to see today. I can't take them home. I can't take them in tonight. We'll We're going to be working soon. late. Tomorrow we got clinic all day long. We're leaving early Friday. He has to hang in there till Friday. Bless his heart. May God bless you. This is such an important part of the program. You know, one thing about the mobile clinics in the interior, Haitians dress up in their best clothes to come, and their Sunday clothes. Yes, they do. They come to the clinic, shade, they dress up their it's very the best. They, it's the only thing they have. They the only say thing, that. And, and, and they do it every time. They're so proud to come to a mobile clinic that to have help out here. This little Pavo, this is little Magdalene next to me, little children. But so many children come to the clinic. But before Sherry comes, of course, you know, right here in Saba Pete, it's hours in the middle of the interior, no electricity, no, it's nothing out here. Very little food, no industry, no jobs, no money, no way to make a living. So Sherry and the, and the volunteer team from America, and the Haitian staff, we all come out here to have a, a clinic because love is something that you do to save lives, to 
save lives, especially like little Jackson that you've seen in the program. His life's going to be saved. But here's how you can help. $20 yeah. will supply an entire pharmacy for a family. For $20, share inside is everything. They can never afford this in their lifetime. But it's a gift. It's free. Share what else inside? Oh, buddy. Wow. You know, every, I think every time we do them, they add more things. Our staff adds more things. Every time. But it's got basic cough and cold medicine, and there's wound care in here. They've got vitamins. They've got gloves. They've got scabies medicines. And right Stomach now, there's medicine. a fever outbreak in Haiti, and they've got the stuff for the fever here, things for a baby, diaper rash, uh, everything. And it's just like a little pharmacy. And the Haitians tell me that even if they had to buy one bottle of cough medicine, they could never afford it. Never. But there, this is invaluable to them, and it means so much to a poor, poor, poor family. And we're going to be giving out these family packs. And then also, if you ever thought about deworming the children, wow, $52 can deworm 300 children. And worms, I think that every oh, child in Haiti just about has worms. We deworm every single child that comes to the clinic. And it's so important because their bellies will just blow up when they get worms. They sit on the ground. The worms cause infections and even death sometimes. And then, Bobby, of course, they can sponsor a clinic then or a gift of any amount. A, cl a clinic like this is $1,000. You can sponsor someone, sponsor this clinic right here that we're having right now. What you're seeing someone sponsor this with $1,000. And we're here for uh, two full days uh, saving lives. But please, Please call the telephone number that's on the screen. It's toll free. Put it in your credit card. It will speed the process up. Please call the number. Or you may give online your computer. Or you may write in and mail your check in. We're going to send you back a special photo of what's happening with a special thank you letter. But remember, $20 or you may want to get one family pack or supply $100 for five family packs. Yes. And what God is in your heart. Or sponsor worm medicine, $52 will deworm up to 300 children. Or $1,000 will sponsor an entire clinic. Or a gift of any amount. Any amount. Every penny counts. Please help. Call the toll free number or write. Sure and I live here now for 23 years. This is, this is our mission, uh, but you and I are working together to save lives. Without you, without you, it cannot be done. Please help today. We love you. We'll write and give you a special thank you letter. Thank you so God much. God bless you from the children and people of Haiti. There are multitudes of malnourished babies and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, sanitary conditions, and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these people who have nothing and are giving them hope. Hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have health. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished people who have never seen a doctor or receive medical care. We need your help now. $52 furnishes the medicine and vitamins needed to deworm and treat 300 children. $20 provides a family a complete package of medicine. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Will you hear the cry of the poor and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $52 furnishes the medicine and vitamins needed to deworm and treat 300 children. $20 provides a family a complete package of medicine. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting people of Haiti. You don't have problems when you come here because you look at these people and they have nothing. They have nothing. So you you can't even, you know, your, your problems go away. Thank you, Love a Child, for giving me a, 
another chance to come over here and, and uh, help the people, but probably more to help myself. <laughs> I tell you, there's a lot of groups out there, and if you go on their financial statements and see how much goes to the people, how much goes to the agency, Love a Child is the most of the children that I've ever, and I check that out, because my money matters and people helping me. They give the most of the children to the outreaches. The people that come here, come here and pay their weight. They're not paid from Love a Child. So this would be the chance, even if you're a new nurse, a new doctor, you will see things and you'll get to do things you haven't done, because there's not the constraint that we have in America. And we give good care, we have good medicine, we have the supplies, but you can do things you couldn't do otherwise. And as much as it helps them, it fills your heart, it makes you grateful for everything of your life. It does for me, that's why I come. So come. Domi La, Demi Mafia Clinic. Okay, Upape Desu in the clinic, okay? Ushita, okay? Okay, Rete Tranquil, then Vandredi Mato Nusoti. Uka Domi Isi Aswaya, Upakriye? Okay? Ule Domi Isi Aswaya? Map Domi Isi. Ule Domi Isi Aswaya? Okay. Okay, so he talked us into it. This is his birth certificate. He talked us into it. He's not going home. He's determined to go home with us. So we're, we're just going to keep him here at the clinic all day and all day tomorrow and sleep with him and go home with him Friday. That's life in Haiti. Yeah, I love it. Bye-bye. 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 Okay.